Hypersensitivity reactions are excessive immune responses to normally harmless substances that induces inflammation and can lead to tissue damage and cell death. There are four types of hypersensitivity disorders. In type 4 reactions, these differ from the other three reactions in a couple of ways. Number one, they are delayed reactions, which means they can take days to even years to manifest. Therefore, in some cases, type 4 reactions can be known as delayed hypersensitivity. Another difference is the immune cell that they use are T cells rather than antibodies that we saw in the other three types. Therefore, another name that's commonly used for type 4 is cell-mediated hypersensitive disorders. Now, in type 4 reactions, these are comprised of a spectrum of severity from mild to severe. So, here I've broken type 4 reactions into two categories. Delayed reactions, which usually just involve T helper cells, and cytotoxic reactions, which use both T helper cells and cytotoxic T cells. Now, let's start with a delayed reaction. This usually involves the skin only and where we have the antigen that enters. Some examples of the antigens can be latex, can be metals like nickel, or certain cosmetics. When the antigen enters the skin, it is taken up by an antigen presenting cell, such as a dendritic cell, which then engulfs it. Here it then takes it back to a neighbouring lymph node, which then sensitises and activates a T helper cell, which then comes to the site. On further exposure, the T helper cell releases a whole lot of cytokines, which then induces inflammation in the area. This inflammation then leads to dermatitis, rashes, itchiness, etc. In cytotoxic reaction, the same principle occurs. The antigen is engulfed by an antigen presenting cell and presented to a T helper cell, which then activates a cytotoxic T cell. Now where the cell with the antigen, in some cases could be a cancer cell or a virally infected cell, is then destroyed by the cytotoxic T cell, which is a good thing. But in some cases, certain antigens, which is of your own tissue, in one case, myelin can be seen as foreign. Therefore, the same process occurs and cells that have myelin destroyed. This disease is known as multiple sclerosis. In another example, the foreign antigen is seen to be on parts of beta cells. Beta cells are located in the pancreas that produces insulin. So in the same process, Beta cells are destroyed in the pancreas, leads to a disease known as type 1 diabetes.